Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and we're going to compare the benchmarks and do a quick speed test between the iPhone 7 Plus and the Galaxy S7. These are the latest from their prospective makers or one of a few different offerings from Samsung, and they have their latest technologies as far as CPUs and GPUs in them. So we're going to run a Geekbench test, an Antutu test, and then we're going to check out the browsers and scroll speed. So let's slide over here and go to Geekbench 4. Now before I do that, this is the only thing running on the phone. So you'll see if I go to the tasker, that's what's running. Everything else is stock as far as that goes. On the iPhone 7 Plus, we're running iPhone's iOS 10.1, and we're running Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow on the Galaxy S7. These are what's the latest available at this time. We also have the Apple A10 Fusion processor at 2.34 GHz. It's a quad-core processor with two fast cores and two power-efficient cores. And we also have 3 GB of RAM. On the S7, we have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 820, which also has a 1.59 gigahertz speed, as well as a little bit faster 2.15 gigahertz speed as far as two of the four cores. So we have a quad core here with two fast and two slow cores. We also have a little bit over three gigabytes of RAM. They're both fairly even matched as far as that goes, so let's go ahead and run a CPU benchmark. This is Geekbench 4, so let's take a look at it, and I'll speed this up so you don't have to wait for it during the entire test. Now that that's completed, you'll see the iPhone has a very impressive 3458 for single core and 1623 on the S7. As far as multi-core, we have 5594 and multi-core 3962. So pretty impressive results on the iPhone. But let's take a look at a benchmark test different than Geekbench. So let's go ahead and close this out. Now that the benchmarks for Geekbench are done, let's take a look at Antutu. I've downloaded the latest versions of both of these. And that's a little screwy there, but we'll wait for it. I don't know that I've tested this before. I've never tested this phone, but let's go ahead and hit test again. There we go. And all apps have been closed just like before. And I'll go ahead and speed this up so you don't have to wait through it. Tutu has completed its test, and as you can see, the iPhone 7 Plus comes in at 183,043, first 131,422. So that's pretty impressive, I think, overall. Let's go to detailed here, and it gives the individual scores. So that's pretty impressive as far as the iPhone 7 Plus goes. I've actually run them on the iPhone 7 as well. Uh, Geekbench came in about the same. I've closed the applications on both, and before we go into the next quick test, let's turn them off here, or at least lock them, and unlock them with our thumb just to see how quickly it actually goes. It's pretty quick when I get a match. Sometimes I have problems with getting a match on the Galaxy. There we go. So pretty quick for both of them. And let's take a look at browser and scroll speed. So. I've put in my website address already, it's cached, it's ready to go, and both scroll really quickly. The Galaxy scrolls a little bit differently, it's just the difference between iPhone and Android. It's real smooth on the iPhone, it's really fast or slow and smooth, just a little bit different as far as the way it goes. You can scroll up and it just depends on the device, but both look pretty good. If we go to, say, a different website, let's go to... Apple's website, hit go, and both loaded pretty quickly. We can zoom in, no problems there. And I think the real test here is that both feel nice and fast. If we open the camera app on both, let's try and do this at the same time. 
they're both fairly quick. You get a little bit slow, a little bit slower response with the Galaxy as far as that goes, but overall, it's not so slow that really most people are going to care. It's fast enough, and I think that's the point. Is regardless of benchmarks, both of these are pretty quick in everyday use. Neither feels slow. But I'd like to hear what you think in the comments below. This was just the simple benchmark test and quick speed check. Uh, what have been your experiences with either of these devices if you've used both? And what are you using now? Let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.